Hi Chelsea fans, welcome to this second part of this three-part mini-series on the channel. At the end of the day, I produce these videos for you guys to try and get you thinking and to get your Chelsea opinion. So, part one last night was about the current Chelsea squad and who would be your first 11, strongest 11, with everybody fit, no suspensions, no coronavirus. Today's video is all about the players that we think genuinely will leave Chelsea this summer just going through one or two thoughts and processes in my mind to see if that connects to you. And then tomorrow, it's the transfer window and who we realistically think will come into the club as replacements for those that we think are going to leave. It's just trying to engage you, the Chelsea fans, a little bit more because that's what these channels are all about. So, part two, who we think is going to go. Let's get cracking. As with any season, players released from contracts that have expired, you're going to see players returning back from loan who are probably released or sold, and you're going to see those first team players that don't fit into a manager's plans. When Frank Lampard first walked into the door at Chelsea, it was a different situation. We were under the enforcement of the transfer ban. He couldn't sign anybody. As a result, he's had to work with the squad that he's already got. And is that an indication of some players that will go this summer? For this summer, for Frank Lampard, it's massive. It's a chance for Frank to, to mould the squad as to how he wants it with his players. So more on that tomorrow, who's going to come into Chelsea. But today is all about who's going to leave. So let's have a look at some names. Let's put some names out there of players who are out on loan at the moment that we know don't feature in Frank Lampard's plans so far. Based on the fact they've been farmed out on loan this season, having been evaluated this summer. Baba Rahman, the left back, out on loan at Real Mallorca. His contract expires this summer. He's hardly made a name for himself at Chelsea. Ever since he arrived, he'll go. He's the first one that will leave. Second, Kennedy, bit of an enigma is Kennedy, someone that's sort of been in and out, showed glimpses of what he's capable of, was on loan at Newcastle, has now gone on loan abroad, and I think he's another one that will go. His contract expires, he'll go. So Rahman and Kennedy, they'll both leave for free in the summer. Marco Van Inkel, the midfielder, who's suffered with horrendous injuries at his time, ever since he's been with Chelsea, has had successful loans back in Holland, in the Netherlands, and his contract expires and he'll go. But what about those loanees that will possibly be sold? First up, David Zappacosta. Sort of in and out of the side, wasn't he? He showed glimpses of being great going forward, but defensively lacking. He's out on loan at Roma. And if you ask me, I think that Roma will exercise an option to try and sign him in the summer. So I think Zappacosta is the next person that will leave the club this time for a fee. The second player that will leave for a fee this summer will be Tumi Bakayoko, who's out on loan currently at Monaco. The situation with his future is unclear as to where he will go. Seville want him, AC Milan want him, Monaco are interested, so are PSG. I think it's clear Bakayoko will go, and if Chelsea can recoup around 30 to 40 million, it'll be a great deal. Victor Moses is the next on the list over into Milan and I think that there's been some sort of an option in, in the loan that they can make the move permanent because at the end of the day why would you loan him out if you if you want to keep him somebody like Victor Moses with the experience that he's got Victor Moses will be the next player that leaves for money this summer and he will go to Inter Milan more than likely because we all know what Antonio Conte did for him converting him from a winger to a wing back where he was really really impressive in that title winning season finally of the lone players that i think that will leave the club for money well i think it's confirmed more or less alvaro morata is the next one that will go he'll go for a big fee it's reported that atletico have got to pay their money 48 million they've got to pay chelsea this summer great deal for us he goes he's the next one so what of the current chelsea squad that's here under frank lampard who's gonna leave and it was big, big news yesterday with two players. The first being Willy Caballero signing a year's extension. We all know Jamie Cumming is still here and he will be here next season. The situation with Kepa is unclear, but I think Caballero signing a big move and I believe that Kepa will stay. So the goalkeepers are set. I can't see any of those leaving. As for the defenders, right backs were set. James and Aspie are going to stay. It's the left back position that comes under scrutiny. Because obviously, if you saw my video yesterday, 
Strongest 11 for me, based on a defensive side of the back four, as we played left back with Reese James right back. So that puts question marks over the futures of Emerson Palmieri and Marcus Alonso. We have to ask ourselves the question, who is much more of a benefit to Frank Lampard's squad and who do we think Frank Lampard could get the most out of, out of those two players? And I think that will give you a huge indication as to what I believe will be the case this summer. Emerson Palmieri is an okay defender. He's never made a position in the squad his own. He featured under Maurizio Sarri, but Sarri left and there's rumours that Sarri wants him back. But there's also other clubs in Italy that are interested and we wonder what the situation will be. I think Palmieri, given the option, will go. He's hardly featured for Frank Lampard. He will go and be the next one that goes for money this summer. For me, Marcus Alonso stays because he gives us an option if we play three centre-backs as the wing-back and we've seen how and how effective he can be in the opposition box. So Alonso stays, Palmieri goes. As for our centre-backs, there are reports that Andreas Christensen was being eyed by the likes of AC Milan. I'm not so sure. I think Chelsea is set with their centre-backs. I can't see any other defenders leaving apart from Emerson. So to our eight midfielders that we've got currently listed on the official site in the squad. Jorginho, Conte, Barkley, Kovacic, Loftus-Cheek, Van Inkel, Mount and Billy Gilmore. First up, Jorginho. And I guess it's going to be a wait and see with Jorginho. We all know that Maurizio Sarri wants him back. Despite the fact Jorginho made these statements saying he's his own man, he wants to be recognised as his own player, not someone that just follows Sarri around. If he's given that option and the opportunity, will he take it and go to Juve? If Juve want him, Chelsea want 58 million. Will they go and pay that? It's the equivalent of 65 million euros. Will Juve still want Jorginho and pay that amount of money? I think Chelsea want Jorginho to stay. I think Frank wants him to stay. But I think what happens with Jorginho hinges on one other person. And that person is Nagolo Conte. It's my belief that Chelsea will do everything possible to keep Conte from the likes of Real Madrid. We've seen reports about Nagolo Conte saying, or his, his agent, or the, these reports from somewhere have come out to say that he wants a new challenge. Imagine this, if he's made available, everybody the big clubs in the world are going to be looking. PSG, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern, people like that are all going to be looking for Conte. I've got everything crossed that we can keep hold of Conte because as I put in my first video about the current Chelsea squad and who's the strongest 11, Conte's in it for me and Jorginho isn't. So I think if Chelsea can keep Conte, Jorginho will go. I think the law of winning the Serie A title, having been there with Napoli, being given such a good opportunity to win it finally with Juve, I think that's too much of a law for Jorginho and for me, Jorginho goes. So in the attacking areas, we've got seven attacking players listed on the site. Pedro, hudson Adoy, Giroud, Willian, Batshuayi, Pulisic and Tammy Abraham. Big news yesterday, massive news, Olivier Giroud signing a New Year's extension. He's here next season with Tammy Abraham, which leaves Missy Batshuayi. I think Batshuayi is another one that will leave the club for money this summer. Crystal Palace, West Ham, other clubs abroad will be interested if he's made available. He just couldn't cut it this season at Chelsea. And I think that's put the, the kibosh on his career here. Bearing in mind, he scored important goals. He's had a run of games and he scored some good goals. But this season looks a shadow of himself and I think he'll go. So, striker needs to come in. More on that. Stay tuned for part three tomorrow. And finally, it's the wide areas. So, we've currently got four players in wide areas. And we know one's coming in. Hakim Zayech is already in. So, it gives us five players in the wide areas. In addition to Zayech, we've got Pedro, William, Hudson-Odoi and Christian Pulisic. Christian Pulisic is a new signing, recent signing, joined the club last summer. He stays, he's not going anywhere. Callum Hudson-Odoi signed a new big contract. We wait and see what happens with his future after what we found out last weekend. But for the time being, he stays as well. Chelsea won't sell him currently. So it's down to William and it's down to Pedro. For me with William, I've said it, in the video that's posted this lunchtime, my news bulletin. I think that the contracts for Caballero and Giroud are massive, and I think Frank Lampard will sort after William these next few days to try and convince him to make a U-turn about his contract demands from being a three-year deal to accept Chelsea's two-year offer 
and spearhead Chelsea's fight to challenge for the top four in the title in the next two seasons. I think Willian stays. I think Frank Lampard is too much of an influence. He's obviously got respect for Frank for playing with him, alongside him when he was a player, now as the manager. And I think Frank Lampard will get his way and William will stay. Which leaves Pedro, who unfortunately, despite the fact he's been great for us in patches, he's scored so many important goals and he has been an influence on our side. At times, you have to say, with all of experience and what he won at Barca, I'm afraid it's going to be a time to say goodbye to Pedro, who has done great for us in times. And as I say in patches, not consistently enough for me. Pedro will be the next one that will leave. And that's my view. What do you guys think? So that's it from me, guys. That's who I think Chelsea will release this summer and who Chelsea will sell for big, big money. Quite a few players, which is more than I actually expected when I had the idea of doing this series. Post your comments in the comments section below. If you like the video, smash that like button for me. Then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But make sure you hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out. Also, check out the other two videos here for more content from my channel. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. See you next time.